Oh, uh, okay. It's June Cook's turn. Okay, I didn't see this one. Ho! Oh! oh! Ho! What's going on, YouTube viewers? It's your dude, Head of Mixed Dragon, coming at. Wait, let me say that again, because clearly you guys are sleeping on me. What's going on, YouTube viewers? It's your dude, Head of Mixed Dragon, coming at you with another video. No, wait, wait, hey, wait, 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 who? You, yeah, you, the one who's thinking about skipping on to the part of the video. You gotta hear me out real quick. One, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming up later on my channel. And of course, Help support this channel even more. The link in the description down below to purchase some awesome, sick merch. Keep in mind, guys, I do have your comments all written down, all listed up to keep in mind which one do you guys want me to react to. Keep in mind, those of you guys who need to keep this and understand it too. I react to martial art fight videos. I did try reacting to other videos before. Sad to say, didn't really have on my channel. Only like three or maybe four, maybe five people watched it. Not many people were watching this, so it didn't help out as much. But until I got to the martial art videos and started doing some martial art fight videos, that's when my YouTube channel really is starting to flourish. By the way, thank you guys so much for helping me make it up to 393 subscribers. That is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Clap it up. Clap it up. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Hey, save that corn, dude. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for helping me make it this far. We are so close to 400. After that, we're going to make it to 500. And then all the way up to 1,000. We st we're still going with baby steps, you know. And don't worry, guys. I will I will react to the videos that you're po posting suggestions. Martial art related videos. I'm just trying to make sure that things don't get too copyrighted. Things don't get kicked off. I don't get kicked off or get a strike. I'm trying to make sure that don't happen. Hopefully, I don't get a strike for this video either. Or I hope I don't get any copyright claims on this video either. But trust me. Work with me. I'm working through all this stuff. I'm doing all the hard work on this stuff so you guys can enjoy the content and entertainment. So let's carry on with the rest of the video, shall we? Today is actually a reaction video on BTS. Yes, BTS. You guys already know BTS. I mean, I, you, I already saw the video. Like, cut, the, cut the video out. Anyway, you guys already saw BTS. This is what we are reacting to. Jimin and Jungkook's... Hopefully I got his name right. Jungkook's History of Martial Arts of Taekwondo kickboxing, kendo, and hapkido. So without further ado, let's go ahead and carry on with it. Once again, copyright claims, I have to make sure that I like mute at certain parts so it won't get copyright. So stick with me on this and let's carry on with the rest of the video guys. Shall we right about? Now. Guess what? Two of the members of BTS are confirmed to be pro in martial arts. Specifically Taekwondo and Kendo, and they're no other than the duo who Ooh. often show off their abs, Jun and Jungkook. I've ever kicked there. Jungkook is called as the Golden Magni because there's no denying that he's truly good in everything. He looks like the perfect guy. You often read in fan fiction who knows how to sing, dance, do sports, draw, swim, and he's also probably pro in kicking ass. Aside from excelling in boxing and the oh, we'll type that in to say that like he's also pro in butt kicking. In Taekwondo, which is a well known Korean martial arts. He learned Taekwondo since wow. he was still a kid. There's even a video of him doing drills with his Taekwondo classmates back in 2009. Oh man, I remember my classes when I was doing an ATA. And to be honest, people. I, I do really do recommend Taekwondo as my um, practice sport. Dang, he looks like he's tired. Shimon also excels in martial arts. Shimon is well trained in Taekwondo and got a black belt in it. There are Taekwondo instead of Do. So what happens when you guys get a computer to do a human speaking? He is pro in Hap Kaido, which is a hybrid Korean martial art. It is a form of Hap Kaido? Hido. How many times are they gonna keep messing up these guys' names? Nah, I mean, what? Hang on, guys. My, my Steam Nami here wants to watch the, the, uh, the TV show too. Look at the TV Nami. Look at the TV Nami. Look 
¿Qué buena chica? Buena chica. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Te amo, ¿ok? Te amo. She goes, you don't want to be on TV, guys. It's okay. Her name is Nami. Did you know that BTS's Jaden has a history of training under the martial arts of Kendo for seven or eight years? He revealed Make sure she got his name right. The character, Solo, from the anime series. Ah! Oh yeah, I remember he was talking about that in the previous videos. By the way, go ahead and click the link to it. That is right up here. I mean, to be honest, I have three favorite characters off of One Piece. That is Luffy, Always, Zoro, and Sanji. Because these guys are like the, the top um, pirate crew. Or, I'm sure I have pirate crew members. And Luffy, of course, he's the, he's the captain. Isn't the only factor to come into play. You also need to stay focused on improving yourself and strengthening your spirit. You will exactly. see that practicing kindle requires you to have a balance of physical and mental strength. Which is why it's impressive of Jimmy to have trained under this for more than seven years when he was young. Unlike Taekwondo, Kendo is a traditional Japanese martial art which descended from swordsmanship. This kind of martial art uses boundary swords and protective armor. Shimon's co-members are also aware about his background. In an interview, BTS was asked what they would do if they weren't in BTS. Joe Cook answered for Jimin by saying, Jim Do, which is a modern Korean martial art derived from Japanese kendo. Aside from Jim's excellent dancing skill, his amazing background in dancing can be tracked back to his training days when he was practicing this Japanese martial art. Since they hey, that, hey, that was impressive. Do not do the windmill. See a b-boy type of vibe going here. That's cool. Just one day, and many more. Here are some moments where they show off their martial arts skills that will make you amazed. Whew. I've seen some of this stuff too in the other previous video too. Once again, look it up. It's when I, you know, Head of Miss Dragon reacts to G-Men's martial arts experience. Is he jumping on a trampoline or was that really his jump? That was, that was impressive. Hey! Not bad! To be honest, if I was doing like music videos too, which I actually did a music video quite recently actually, uh, you'll see it soon. It's going to be posted up on YouTube and I'll give you guys a link. Trust and believe, I'll give you guys a link. But um, like I almost definitely like, like anything I've done, whether it be breakdancing, which I do as well, uh, and martial arts, I would do everything to just add into it, just, you know, to make it more like more of a performance. It's entertaining. So I really do respect this. Oh, I've seen this. I see this part right here. In the other video, of course. He's like, was he supposed to kick the bottle or was he supposed to kick the bottle cap? Oh, uh, okay. It's June Cook's turn. Okay, I didn't see this one. Ho! Oh! Ho! That's how you do it! Okay, June Cook. Now we see who has more control with their kicks. No offense to Jimin. Oh snap! Oh snap! In case you guys don't know what that that went spinning movement he does on the ground, it's called the windmill.
yeah. Okay. Do the, the, some boxing. Okay. Great hand eye coordination. Taekwondo, which is great for feet work, foot feet work, footwork and great kicks. Speed kicks, okay. Jung Jung Cook. Earn my respect. 100 percent Keep in mind guys, I only react to martial art videos. I appreciate the other reaction of like just to the other videos right so far, but right now my focus is literally on acting and the martial arts of my YouTube videos. And of course cosplay. Yeah. Oh. Somebody oh wow. Two of them are down. Oh yeah, I remember we had to do that. Guys, you don't understand this. In Taekwondo, we had to practice doing splits pretty much 24-7. Every time you enter the dojo, after we were done warming up, after we were done doing stuff, we had to do this. And they had to do this to us. We had to get sat on because we need to get more flexible. And it's like that in Korea, guys. It's like that. And that's the end of the video. Okay. It's like that in Korea, guys. It really is. Like, here's the thing. When I was... little story time. Growing up in Taekwondo and ATA Martial Arts... I was taught to understand that when it comes to Taekwondo, flexibility is key. Actually, when it comes to martial arts, flexibility is key in general. That's no, it's not an option. You either, you either get in martial arts, you ought to be flexible, or you don't do martial arts at all because you don't know whether you're gonna have to kick somebody high in the head or in the stomach. And if you can't reach above the belt level, then you're not really good in a fight because somebody can definitely take advantage of you if, they, if you can't keep up. Up your endurance, your leg strength, it increases your footwork and your hand-eye coordination, and it helps out a lot. I had to practice non-stop with these guys to actually improve my kicks we had to stand up against the wall you know those of you are martial art guys remember you had to stand up against the wall and you had to actually put they had somebody hold your foot up and it goes all the way up and up and up and you had to hold on to something like let's say there's a, a board right here and you have to hold it up and it's hard for me doing these pants but you gotta stand at your foot bring it back rechamber it's called rechambering we had to keep doing that i had to hold it up higher i'll be able to hold it up higher if i wasn't wearing these jeans sorry about that <laughs> It really does teach you a lot, and I learned a lot from it. And we had, to, and once we were like all warmed up and we we're all pretty much tired, our body start relaxing, and then we could start going to a split, into a split. He says, "Okay, everybody, drop." When he says drop, that means you have to literally drop into a middle split. I was, I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I was already close to the middle split. To be honest, my balls were touching the ground. I kid you not. Now, right now, I'm trying to get back into my um, my middle splits. Uh, I need help with that a little bit more. But uh, if you have suggestions, go ahead and put it down in the comments down below too. You have to go in down to the middle split, and when you get close, the sensei will go right around. He go like this. Oh, look at you! You're getting too close. Oh, look at this. You're getting close. Okay, let me sit on you. Okay, let's go ahead and sit on. Like, okay, and he's a big guy. I'm not saying he's petite. I'm not saying this dude is like skinny. This dude is a fat man, and he's like, okay, let's sit down. He sat down on me. I was getting closer. He said, relax, but they breathe. I try not to let it freak out. I try not to freak out, not, not get worried. I relax myself. I breathe. I relax my hips. And then I started touching the ground. Guys, trust me. When it comes to martial arts, when it comes to stuff like this, June Cook and G-Man knows this stuff. Flexibility is key. Martial arts. It's, it's a lifestyle. It's not like you can just guys go ahead and put it on and off. No, it's a lifestyle. But other than that, this video was amazing. June Cook, you have my utmost respect as well, man, along with G-Men. <laughs> it seems like June Cook know how to kick a bottle cap off the bottle. G-Men need a little bit more help with the control of the kick. I hope you guys who are BTS fans, hope you're not trying to think I'm trying to dog on this. No, it's only positive vibes. It's only a reaction video. I am not trying to be rude to anybody. These guys got my full respect. I really don't know any of these guys can actually know how to do any kind of martial arts from any style, so whether it be Taekwondo, Boxing, Kendo, Hapkido, by the way, <laughs> by the way, I just, I just heard Happy, uh, Hapkido, Hapkido, or Hapkido, Taekwondo, that is a machine, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, <laughs> roast the machine on this, cause she's just literally reading what's been typed, but dang, come on, anyway, let's go into the end part of this video, shall we? Anyway, YouTube viewers, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming up later on my channel. And if you guys have any other martial art related suggestions, put them down in the comments down below. Love to hear about it. Love to check it out. Love to put it up here and also give you guys a shout out if need be. And go ahead and purchase the merch in the link in the description like my video is saying already. 
Link in the description. Purchase the merch. Show it. By the way, guys, put, oh, we're going to bring up the hot kaiju thing. Guys, what you got to do is that when you purchase the merch, whether it be a pillow, whether it be a hat, whether it be a shirt, I don't care if it's joggers, go ahead and post a picture of that on social media, aka Instagram or Facebook, tag Hit Image Dragon and put hashtag hot kaiju. And thank you guys so much. And I post your pictures up here so everybody else can see it. So everybody else can see that beautiful sight. Not only of my merch, but also of your gorgeous look. You know, see how they look. Go ahead, let's go participate in that. Anyway, that's the, end for, that's the end of this video for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for this 393 subscribers. Let's go ahead and make it up to 400. And, of course, stay safe, stay positive. Keep in mind, represent the Hot Kaiju fam. Peace out. Bye.